Hello, everybody. Welcome to your love reading. This is going to be a love reading for all my sun, moon, rising, and Venus Aries out there. So Aries, I hope that you guys are having a great month so far. Let's see what's going on for this next coming week for you guys. If this reading resonates, that's awesome. But if it doesn't, it just means it wasn't the reading for you. And you can feel free to check out your moon, rising, or Venus signs. Also, across watchers, this is a safe place for you guys as well. So just keep that in mind while watching. This is a general reading. Okay. Okay. Woo! Aries, let's see. The Hierophant. Guys, this is already crazy because I literally, before I did your reading, I was literally thinking of the Hierophant. So that's crazy that this card just popped out. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Whoever this is, Aries, you're wanting, you're wanting a relationship with this person. You could already be in a relationship with them for some, but for others, you're wanting a relationship. You want something stable. You're looking for a strong foundation. I feel like for you guys, I'm also the Empress kept wanting to come out. I feel like for a while, Aries, you've been focusing a lot on yourself. You've been focusing a lot on your self-happiness and um, trying to try, new, you've been trying new things out. You could be you could be focusing on yourself by hanging out with your friends, just not really focusing a lot on romance. But then suddenly there's somebody coming in that might have some sort of offer to make for you guys. Let's get some clarity on this Hierophant card. Can I have clarity on why the Hierophant is here for Aries? Ooh, Ace of Wands, there might be a new person coming in to your energy field. That is awesome, Aries. There's, you want to start something new with somebody. Whoever this is, they bring a, bring a lot of light into your life. They they spark up the fire, you know, within you. <laughs> you could have a very... Um, I hear that you guys could be kind of like... Uh, fi you guys could both have fire in your chart, like a lot of fire. Like this person could also be a fire sign for some. Um, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. <laughs> but... You're looking to start a new beginning with whoever this is. You're looking to, you're looking for new love. Something that's going to really um, really spark something within you is what I'm hearing. You're looking for something exciting. You don't want something boring is what I'm hearing. You're wanting something exciting. Something that's going to be thrilling. But also maybe some for some you guys could be very adventurous is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing an adventurous kind of vibe but it's like not only are you looking for something it's not like you're looking for something temporary you're looking for something permanent you're looking for something stable you're looking to meet that one really i feel like you're not settling for less aries you've been um focusing on yourself you've been taking the necessary steps to do what you can do and now you are ready for that new chapter to even that new person <sighs> I see dark storms. For some, you guys could, um, there could be a thunderstorm that just, you know, you could be watching this while there's a thunderstorm or it could be raining right now or there's a thunderstorm about to come. But also that could mean like maybe in the past you've dealt with these dark storms. Like you've dealt with people that have brought you down, that have made you feel sad and made you feel less than who you are. And like now you're just done with that. You... You want something that's real. You want something committed. You're not looking for anything less than that. You're not accepting anything less. Okay, let's see what we got here. Eight of Swords. I think you're confused with how to go about this, though. Okay. Like I said, you've been hurt. You've been scarred. People have let you down, Aries. You could have given your heart, whole heart to somebody, and they completely let you down. And now you just... You're scared that um, this whoever this person is coming into your life, you're scared that they are going to do the same thing. I feel like you have these same fears. You do, for some, could have trust issues. For Okay. Could have to do with a past relationship. For some, you could have... Um, this is for a very few, maybe a specific person, but you could have gone through a divorce recently or you had gone through a divorce in the past year or two. That was really hard for you. And you could also have children for some, not for all, of course, but others of you, um, you had been through a lot with um, somebody from the past that had really hurt you, that had really, um, you went through a lot with this person, whoever this is, and you, it left you feeling confused. It left you feeling like you don't know which way and which direction you want to go in. 
you're not you weren't sure of like what you even wanted out of somebody because you're just like maybe you've also you could be the type too where you don't for some you couldn't you could have a type but like for for whoever is watching this I feel like you don't really have a certain type like you're like you could go for um all different types of people like you can like attract all you can go for someone that's outgoing also someone that's shy like you go for all different types and like it left you feeling confused because you're just like you've gone for maybe a few different type of people and every type of person that you've gone for it just let let you down so you're like what do I want but I think over time, when you were taking the time out to focus on yourself, you kind of discovered about, you discovered, you started discovering more of what you wanted. And I think that's what really helped you clear up your mind, really figure out like what you really wanted in somebody. So I feel like maybe that could be past energy if you didn't really know what you wanted or you didn't really know like what to do after whoever that was that hurt your heart. And now like going into this new connection, Whoever this is, you're feeling like a lot of happiness. You're feeling like, okay, I think I finally know what I want out of somebody. I think I'm ready to be with that person, you know? Let's get, um, but you are kind of confused, a little stuck in your head. Like, what if the past just, you know, repeats itself? Okay, we're getting some of their feelings. King of Cups. Ooh, Aries. You could be dealing with a water sign for some. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this person definitely... Ooh, they definitely got a lot of feelings for you. They definitely got a lot of feelings for you. The Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh, guys. Whoever this is, <laughs> they're very excited about you. I'm, not, I'm just going to say right now, this person is very excited. Um, you could have met this person um, online for some. It could be an online connection where you guys haven't quite met. But you are ready to meet each other. And this person is very ecstatic about you. They want to meet you. They want to see where this can go if you did meet this person if you did meet this person in a person setting it could have been at through work or had to do with some I feel like um for some it could have been you could have met this person at a store like you could have been just walking in a retail store and you just you guys both hit up conversation and you're like here's my number and you're like whoa okay um for others of you this could have been completely online but they are really happy and ecstatic about you, Aries. They're excited to see where this can go. They they feel very emotional, like emotional connection with you. And every time you guys look into each other's eyes, it feels very magical. Um, the King of Cups, he's very intuitive. He's an emotional king. He wears his heart on his sleeve. He feels so much, you know. <laughs> they speak with a lot of charisma. They speak um, through a place like... A deep dark, um, deep place from within their heart they speak with their heart really and they are looking to they're looking for somebody that's going to fill up their cup as well I feel like you finally could have met your match somebody that wants to wants the same thing that you want in somebody two of wands all about partnership for some you could live at a distance you could live at a distance from this person but this is dang guys this is <laughs> this is a partnership this person wants partnership with you. They want to see if this connection, if there's something deeper here, if there's something more, um, there's something with you that's going to fulfill them that nobody else has. And they just feel like with you, they can see that. They see the stability. I feel like it's because you guys do have a deep emotional connection right off the bat. And you do, you both are wanting a new start. You guys are on the same page. We have a higher fan, the King of Cups emotional stability you have you want something um, st stable and they want something that's emotional and stable and i feel like you fulfill that two aces here fire and fire and water so you could definitely be dealing with a water sign for some but i also de definitely sense this person has a lot of fire in their chart as well for some you could have ran to the person at around dinner time i'm hearing like i'm sending the evening but not quite when the not quite when the sun has gone completely down is what I'm hearing. Also, it could have been the early morning. Like, you could have met this person. Okay, I know I'm getting a lot of scenarios. It's just different. You could have met this person at, like, a workout class of some sort. It could have even been a virtual workout class. <laughs> so that's kind of what it's online, you know? Could have been a virtual workout class. Nine of Wands. Okay. Sorry, guys. I got a few cards wanting to fall down over here.
Okay. So let's get clarity for why this Knight of Wands is here before I read it. But I do see that this person... Somebody hurt this person, Aries. Somebody left this person feeling down. Somebody would have betrayed them, making them feel less than themselves. Um, they could have tried really hard in a past commitment that really let them down, that made them feel like they weren't good enough for anybody. Almost like they, they felt... Mm. they felt a deep sorrow they felt pain and it's like almost like i think it could have been due to delays as well um this person could have this person um whoever hurt this person was putting them on delays your person they were putting this you know whoever they were with put them on to delay put them um, didn't want to spend much time with them, wasn't giving them enough attention, just really neglected the connection and it left this person feeling hurt. And now they do kind of have a fear. You both have fears here, which is very interesting to me. They are like so ecstatic and excited about you, but the back of their head, they're like, what if it's like my past? You know, what if um, my past comes back to haunt me for some I heard that this person, um, somebody might be reaching out to this person as well. Somebody from their past. But I hear that they're not going to answer. Ah. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to work on something with you. They, they want to work. Um, they want to express to you exactly how they've been feeling. They want to express to you that... You know, yes, Aries, I've been through all this stuff. Yes, Aries, I've had a hard relationship. I had a hard past relationship. But, you know, we can make this work. You know, we can grow through this. We can both grow together. I think you had more time to get over. Um, you had more time to yourself, I'm hearing, Aries, than this person did. It could be vice versa for some, but I'm hearing this person. This could have been a very um, sudden. They could have had something suddenly happen to them recently, like within the past month or two and for you it could have been a lot longer than that but they are like willing to work on it because they see that you're worth it they see that you make them a lot you make them very happy and they feel like this is a, a commitment that could make them feel really excited again and they're excited to see what comes out of this they are gonna um they might be inviting you to work on something with them some sort like a skill they might be asking for help. Maybe um, you guys have similar hobbies. Like maybe you guys like to both sing for some or you could both like music or maybe like you both um, like to build things. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe sculpting, painting. But this person I'm hearing they're like they want to do that with you. They want to help you in that and they or you want to help this person and they like really appreciate it. They they find that very attractive because they're like that you want to spend time with them, you know? Because <laughs> I feel like whoever they were dealing with in the past, they did not want to, they never spent time with this person. They kind of felt neglected in a way, like they just weren't getting enough out of the connection and they felt like they weren't being appreciated in their past. But I feel like you're wanting to show them that you can, you want to appreciate them. Nine of Cups, okay. There is definitely a solid love offer coming your direction, Aries. There's definitely something solid coming. They they want to offer their heart to you. They want to offer their love and romance to you. They want to see if there's something. They want to take a chance with you. They really do want to take a chance with you. And I feel almost like the energy, they've never wanted to take a chance with someone so much before. Like, this is just so new to them. The feelings they have for you are so new. Like they want to offer something stable. They want to offer something emotional. I feel like this person wants to talk to you about their past as well. They want to offer that up to you. <clears throat> they might have put those feelings on delay for quite a bit just because they weren't quite ready at the time to tell you how they felt. But now they are getting ready to tell you everything that's happened to them. They don't want to hold back any longer. I'm going to get some more of your feelings now. <laughs> wow, guys, this is just insane. Can I have some more of Aries' feelings now? Some more of Aries' feelings. More of Aries' feelings. Okay. Page of Cups. Definitely checking them out, Aries. I'm not going to lie. You guys are definitely keeping your eye on them. 
definitely um you could be checking out their social media for some but i'm definitely thinking a lot about this connection i feel like um if you guys went on a date already this person feels um you can't stop thinking about the date like you both can't stop thinking and for some it could be a virtual date you guys could have had a virtual like facetime skype zoom whatever you know you could have had a virtual date of some sort that yeah you just can't stop thinking about it or if they asked you on a date you can't stop thinking about the next date or the date you already went on and you're just so excited for the future but then i feel like at some at the same time the back of your head you're still thinking about the past for some areas, you're struggling thinking about the past because the past keeps coming up in your head like, you know, things are going so well now, but what if this just crumples down? Like, what? It, I feel like you're having doubts about this almost. But doubts because maybe it seems too good to be true. This could feel like it's just too good to be true. Like, I, you know, I've never met somebody like this. What if this just doesn't work out? What if I put my heart out there and it just, you know, it doesn't work? And I end up getting hurt in the end and it was a waste. But for, but you know, I feel like there's something telling you that this person could be, there's something special about this person. This person could be a soulmate to you. They could remind you of your childhood, of your family. You know, maybe you, they've met your family and your family really likes them. And it's just like, um, or your family approves if they have, if they've met your family, they might be meeting your family and they're like, I approve. But there's just something about you that can keep kind of going back to the past, like wondering, like, what if, you know, some parts of you are wondering what if, like, what if, um, what if I was like, what if I get hurt? What if like, it's almost like for some, you could have trouble moving on. Maybe part of you, like, you have moved on, I guess, from the the person with from the past. But at the same time, others of you, like, I mean, I feel like majority of you say you've moved on. But those are still a part of you that's, like, get, entering into this new connection or relationship is difficult because it reminds you of your past in a way. Like, just because getting into a new connection, it's like, I was just with the past. This person I was just with, like, it, it could have ended very, you know on a sour note and you're just you're terrified of like the outcome like you don't want it to just fall apart like you feel like a strong connection with them they feel a strong connection with you but I feel like you'd almost like even though they keep showing you Aries how they feel it's like it's almost like it's not enough because you just even though they keep telling you, it's like you just like need that time and confirmation. You need the time from them to see like, okay, this person really means what they say. Like you need to see it through their actions is what I'm hearing. Like you need time to see that they're, what they're saying is the truth and it's not just a bluff, you know. Because you do have your guard up. You have your guard up a bit. But I feel like over time you're slowly bringing that guard down. You're slowly putting the guard down. Wow. But you truly do feel like this is somebody that could bring you a lot of happiness. You can't stop thinking about them. It almost scares you, though. Yeah. Strength. You're building the courage to move on through whoever this is. This is clarifying the Six of Cups. So you definitely, um, you're building the courage to um, just, you're wanting to take a chance. You're building the courage to fully move forward. Because I feel like you've been, maybe for some, you've been stuck in your head or stuck in your your own way almost because of the person from the past that you had a lot of love for. And now it's like, now that ha that has ended and that's been over, it's like you were trying to, you were trying so hard to move forward. It's not easy for you guys, but you're trying so hard. And I feel like you guys are moving forward. It's just not easy. It's not, it's a hard transition, you know, it's a hard transition for you guys. And I think meeting this person, it's just like really opened up your eyes and you're just like, you know, I can't miss out on this opportunity. For some, you're like, I, I need to go for it. But it's like you're building the courage and the strength to do that. You're, you're, you're trying to work through this, work through the, um, the obstacles and work through the challenges that it might require. But you're willing to just, you know, you guys, Aries, you guys are fighters. You guys, you guys you guys can, you know, you fight for what you want. I feel like you guys are very passionate when you want something and you will go for it if you want something. I feel like you're, you're deciding you're just going to go for it, I hear. And like they're going for it. 
Um, you both have challenges going on from within your head, but you're both try trying to fight through it just because you know that this is going to be worth it at the end of the day. I mean, at the end of the day, Aries, this is all up to you guys of what you guys want to do, what you think is best for you. But yeah, that's all I have for this reading. Um, if you want to check out the extended version down below, you can feel free to check that one out. Um, I'm just going to go over into more of your feelings, their feelings, and then we're going to go into the overall outcome. So it's just going to be a more thorough reading there. So you can feel free to check that out below. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys. So I'll see you guys next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.